and let us all that we can to build a better future. Part of this evacuation uh, that is moving forward mm -hmm. is uh, efforts to get um, Afghanis that work for the New York Times as well as the Wall Street Journal out of the country along with their families. In fact, uh, New York Times uh, workers, uh, tw uh, 24 uh, Afghani families were able to get out of the country. The Wall Street Journal is doing the same thing. Now, one might think that, oh, well, Wall Street Journal, New York Times, powerful, powerful mil uh, uh, media companies in the U.S. Well, of course the U.S. is giving them preferential treatment. Actually, no. Um, they're they're, coming, they're out, getting out of the country because of Mexico, which has uh, made it very clear uh, that they are happy to um, work with these good folks uh, to get give offer humanitarian protection and well, to cut through to. all of the... Um, you, you know who are who are you know, basically um, the Mexican government said, yeah, we're in a position to help, and we're going to help. Hey, America, looks like hey, Kit, remember what you've been talking about like the longest time? Yeah, it's like America, America needs help. Well, here, America needs help. Didn't ask for help. Mexico's like, I ah, will do it. Oh wow, you know, um, I, again, I'm glad a lot of those journalists are okay, but uh, this is kind of. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say it's a sign of things to come, but it's just it's it, it's interesting that, that you brought that up, Daniel. Mm -hmm. uh, again, um, I'm glad those journalists are safe because again, this evacuation in Afghanistan, um, it's in my in my opinion. I know Daniel said earlier in the earlier segment that uh, it could have been worse. I think it's god awful and terrible yeah. at this point. Well, Mexico, you know, this article in the New York Times, uh, uh, the, the foreign minister Marcelo Ebrard said he was in the position to make some decisions, and he did. Uh, essentially, yeah, he, he did. And because of our own processes here in this country, um, we were not. And Mexico was able to help out um, two of the most powerful news organizations in the United States to get their people out. Um, Thank you, Mexico, obviously, but I, I think that this is something that we need to pause and look at. Yeah. And I'm not saying this simply to dunk on the U.S. I'm saying, look, let's look at what's going on here. Look at how other, other countries are helping us out. Exactly.